What is up, bros and broettes? I'm Slasher 44 and today I am really, really tired. I've been playing so much video games lately between Black Ops 3 and The Division that recently came out, which if you're interested in watching me playing, uh, I've been playing a lot on my second channel. That link is in the description, but that's beside the point. I've been playing so many video games and working. I am just so overly exhausted. I'm making this video at 4.30 in the morning. I gotta get to bed. I work t tomorrow, today, whatever you want to call it, but... This video is kind of a big one because a lot of people have been talking about this. Today we're answering the question, how good is the ICR-1? Now, this one has recently been buffed and that's why we're talking about it. I actually haven't even ever talked about this weapon on this channel before, so it also brings up a good opportunity for that. So, the question is today, how good is the ICR? And the answer is, well, let's get into it. Let's start looking at the stats. So, first off, let's start by looking at damage. Now, the damage is actually one of the worst in class. It does 30 damage up close, 29 at mid-range, 22 at long range. Now, this is the worst out of any of the assault rifles, but there are two other rifles with the exact same profile as that, and they are the HVK and the Shiva. Now, the one that's most like it is the HVK, and it actually has the exact same ranges as well where it drops off, whereas the M8 fires ridiculously faster and has a bit less of a range on it. So we're not going to compare it at all to the M8 because we all know the M8 is already a beast. We don't need to talk about that one but it's the exact same damage profile as the HVK. Now, the next thing we always look at is the rate of fire, and now this is where things kind of get super bad for the ICR. The rate of fire is 600 RPM, which isn't horrible for an assault rifle, but by no means is that good whatsoever. If we look at a weapon like the KN-44, which has a much better damage, pro like much, much better damage profile, it has a 625 fire rate, which is faster. If we look at the HVK, which has the exact same damage profile, it has the fire rate of 722, so over 100 faster RPMs. And that is just not good at all for the ICR. And if you've used the ICR before, talking about core mode, not hardcore here, because I've been told by all of you guys that the ICR is actually pretty good in hardcore mode, but we're not talking about that, we're talking about core mode today. If you've used it before, you 100% know that this weapon struggles when it comes to time to kill. And guess what the two things that take effect when you're talking about time to kill are? Number one, damage. Number two, rate of fire. And these two are both lacking. They have one of the worst in class for damage profile and also the worst in class for automatic assault rifles. The only one that's slower than that is the Man of War. But again, the Man of War has a beastly, beastly damage profile. And guess what? It's not even a 100 RPM difference between the two, even though the Man of War has that much of a better uh, damage profile. So that's not looking good for the ICA. But, there is some good news when it comes to the ICR, and this is where the most recent patch comes in. So one of the most important things when it comes to any Call of Duty games is knowing how gun balance actually works. Because, generally speaking, the way gun balance actually works is, number one, there is a weapon with a really good specific stat, whether that be damage, rate of fire, or whatnot and all of the other stats will be worse than all the other weapons to make that even. Now, one gut weapon may be good in hip spread, one weapon may be good in this. The ICR is good at accuracy, and the most recent buff made one of the most accurate guns in the game even more on point. And now, the ICR is an absolute laser beam. The problem is, is it's a laser beam that does little to no damage. You might as well just be using a laser pointer to kill your enemies because that's all this thing can do. Literally, the time to kill on this weapon is absolutely atrocious. And like I said before, if you've used this thing, you'll know that. That being said, if you're a player that has trouble using aim, in any situation, whether at short range, long range, if you have trouble with rain, or ain't your aim, this is a weapon for you because let me tell you, this thing, when you get on target, it just stays right there. It's, there is practically no recoil now when it comes to this weapon. And it makes it very easy to use, but that's fair. This is how weapon balance works because, yes, it makes it easier for crappy players to use. But at the same time, if you are a good player who can control something like the KN-44, the CUDA, the Gorgon, anything like that, if you're a player that can control those weapons, the time to kill on those weapons is 100 100% better than this one, and you will win the gunfight 
as you should with proper weapon balancing. So this weapon is by far the best in class when it comes to recoil and recoil control. It is on point. When we look at other stats, one of them being reload speed, it is right on point with other weapons. Uh, it reloads with bullets in the magazine at 2.03 seconds, which is the same as most of the other assault rifles, and with an empty magazine at 2.8 seconds, which is again on par with most of the other assault rifles right at the middle of the road point right there. Another stat we can look at is the aim down sights time and again right on point with the other assault rifles at 0.25 seconds hip spread it's pretty much exactly the same as the other assault rifles except when crouched your hip spread is actually the maximum size of it is a little bit better when crouched by exactly 0.5 of an inch but really nothing you're gonna notice but i mean if you're hip firing with it you might want to consider crouching you might get a little bit better aim with it uh, just a little tidbit of information you might want to know uh, but another thing we can look at is magazine size that is exactly the same as most of the other assault rifles at 30 rounds in a magazine there's actually three assault rifles that don't have that and one of those is actually the mx grand which is a dlc weapon so uh, there's really no point in including that one in there the other two are the shiva and the m8a7 the rest of them have the exact same magazine size at 30. so the important point to note when talking about the icr is most of the stats are right on average there are three that are different than average first of all the damage profile is worse than average the um, rate of fire is worse than average and the accuracy is way better than average so let's sum this up put it all together talk about whether this weapon is good or not and then i'll give you a best class setup for it so knowing these stats we can kind of figure out where this falls in line now again the weapon balancing very 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 good in black ops 3 one of the best i've ever seen it not just call of duty any first person shooter ever it's just on point and when looking at this weapon it has its time it has its place when you're at a distance is it the best weapon no is it a good choice absolutely because you're going to be able to stay on target so goddamn well that being said it only takes like two bullets from some other weapons at long distance to just drop you and then you're done and generally speaking players you're going to find at a distance are players who want to be at a distance so you're already going to be at a disadvantage there when you're up close against players generally they're going to be using smgs or a shotgun and let me tell you those drop you way faster than this gun because this gun again horrible horrible time to kill actually one of the worst in the game unfortunately because like i said low damage profile low fire rate low time to or sorry high time to kill i almost said low time to kill that would be the opposite but anyway not the best weapon when it comes to time to kill an amazing weapon when it comes to accuracy i give this weapon like a c plus it's not amazing but you can use it and it's definitely usable and i'd say it's a bit below average that being said if you are new to the game and are struggling with aim and aim alone this weapon could be what brings you into the mix where you could maybe start getting those one kill death games and start improving from there because this thing is so easy to control it's not even funny it, it it's honestly kind of sad how easy this thing is to control so if you're one of those players this is a weapon for you if you're a player like me or most of the other players that have an above one kill death ratio you're gonna want to choose a different weapon one that kills people a little bit faster because the time to the kill on this thing is sad it really really upsets me but let me know what you think in the comment section below i really want to hear what you think if you have any other guns you want to see me do let me know in the comment section below if you have a good one maybe i'll talk about that one but in the next coming days i have some really great videos coming including some that were recently suggested on twitter a lot of people have been tweeting at me lately letting me know what videos they want to see if you want me to talk to you if you want to talk to me if you want to know what's going on in my life twitter is the best place to do so because i see 100 percent of the tweets tweeted at me and i try to respond to most of them so so if that sounds like something you're interested in, check out my Twitter. The link is in the description. If you enjoyed the video, if you've made it this far, maybe I earned a subscriber and you could hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day of the week except for Sunday. And thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, hit that like button. It really, really does help out my channel. So like I said, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, peace out.